Let's talk about prophetic significance here. California, over 70 earthquakes felt near Ventura and Santa Barbara in the last 48 hours. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to The Conservative Truth. If you don't mind really quick giving this video a like, share it across all of your platforms to help me spread the word, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications so you never miss a new video whenever one is posted. But that's right, 70 earthquakes, guys, an earthquake swarm. Now, this took place between Thursday and Friday, just a couple of days ago, where between those two days, we saw a total of 70 earthquakes. Now, nothing catastrophic. I'm not talking about a 7.5 or an 8.1, nothing like that. In fact, the biggest of these quakes was a 3.5. And like I said, around the area of Ventura especially, but also Oxnard throughout Santa Barbara, uh, and other surrounding cities as well. Did report, people did report feeling these quakes. Now the first one started on Thursday at about four o'clock in the afternoon and these went all the way until Friday afternoon. But what is the prophetic significance of this? You have all these smaller quakes. It's not just a few though. You have 70 of them striking in a period of just two days in 48 hours. Now, what did Jesus tell us? In Matthew chapter 24, when the disciples asked him, what would be some of the signs of your coming, of your return? And he said that there would be earthquakes in diverse places. Now, I look at these smaller quakes as warning quakes, essentially. Yeah, you might feel a little you know, vibration when you're laying in bed or the ground moving a little bit as you're going about your day. That's one of those probably 3.5 quakes or even 3.0 or something like that. But I believe that those are truly the warning quakes for something bigger that could be on the way. We have to look at this. We have to, we have to take this into perspective here because we know that it's inevitable for a big quake to strike in California somewhere, whether it's Southern California, Northern, or somewhere in the middle. It doesn't really matter where, but we know this is coming and that we know that God is not happy. He is not pleased with the legislation that's being put forward right now in California uh, by the Democrat Governor Gavin Newsom. A lot of immorality is being spread in that state right now, and a lot, and I am talking about a lot, uh, of anger towards Christians for not going along with their agenda. This is something to be concerned about, but it's also something to pray about, because there are a lot of Christians that are living in California, and of course, you know, they know that this is possible too. But let's be in prayer for them. Everybody there, really, that that state would just turn back to God altogether. God can remove the hand of judgment. It doesn't have to stay there. Well, let's pray that that happens and that it can be removed and we can see revival, that we can see you know, an actual repenting of the state of California as we go forward. But let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think? Is, is a big one inevitable? Do you think it's coming sooner rather than later? Can California be saved? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.